after the corporate wars, the TV universe is ruled by the network. But a small band of rebels continue to present silly, entertaining programs. Thanks so much, and welcome along to the grand final of the great TV game show. You'll notice the immaculate outfit here. I feel like breaking into a number of songs, you know, my way, that sort of stuff. But maybe not just yet. It is, of course, the culmination of our series. And, and we've got to thank the particular people who are sitting out there, even now on their couches, going... Because, yes, you, the couch potatoes, who watch TV endlessly. It's to you the show's dedicated. Oh, sure, and our bank managers. Now, let's get things right underway, because our teams are straining like greyhounds in the slips. Guess which Shakespeare play that came from. And would you please welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, Jane Holmes! I'm so glad we wore our best frock, Marge. Jane, you look fabulous. And what's this? Happy birthday to you. Come oh, on, no. Come Happy get out. Happy birthday I'm so embarrassed. What are you guys? Chuck's to each other. <laughs> oh, no. to thank Mum and Auntie Dawn. Yes, yes, a long Grand time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Mrs. Stubbs had me. He doesn't look a day over 40 today, Thanks. does he? Thanks. Oh, you liar. Oh, wonderful. Younger, much, much younger. Thanks. Yes, it is my birthday. Do <laughs> Don't need it all out? at once. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. Tony, how very touching. What are you going to give me for my birthday? Another prezi? Uh, Something exciting? What am I going to give you? I baked this myself. Oh, that okay. should be we'll sufficient. Just leave it at that then. Thanks for all your cards <laughs> and letters, too. Who cares? <laughs> If this is why we didn't light all the candles, you would have died of heat exhaustion. Oh, how very amusing. Bad. Yes, let's not do any more A's jokes. In fact, let's okay. meet the scum and trash that are our finalists. Yes, because this is a very important night for them. Team number one, here they are, back again, the cone of silence. Oh. <laughs> Good luck, guys. And team number two, here they are, not looking all that well tonight, but we'll find out why later, the SPG. <laughs> Just fabulous. Well, we almost know them. They're semi-cult figures and legends now, but <laughs> let's introduce them once again. Okay. Individually. They're back and their bodies are like finely tuned instruments tonight. Say good day to Dean Bonova, Alison Treyer, the captain, and Wendy Booker. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Listen, fan fantastic choice. Now, let's say right off the bat, Alison, your specialty is? I dream of Jeannie. Thank goodness. And I think it takes a certain raw amount of courage to wear semi-midriff tops on national television. <laughs> Not now, but later when you least expect it, we'll make all of you stand up. Dean, another uniform looking fabulous there, mate. Very, yeah. Have uh, you thought of a career in the military at all? I, I believe it'd be, it'd be very good for my health. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, if you believe that, you'd probably be right for the military, yeah. <laughs> OK, well, it, let's meet individually once again the legends that are the SPGs. Sure, why not? The man named after the white lion is back again, Howard Kimber. Emma Stewart, you've dyed your hair again. She's the captain. And John Leonard, so the poor man, please help him quickly. Fantastic. <laughs> Just so we can say that it's not from playing with things at home, you're, you're dressed like this because, of course, your specialty is? The Evil Dead. Indeed it is, Emma. And did, you, did you like Howard? Howard, what are you telling me? Uh, have you heard that Kimber joke before? Oh, once or twice on this show for a start. Yeah, yeah. all right, all right. Let's not get picky and personal early on in the game. Good luck. Oh, the crowd gets ugly, too. So, like, a bit of violence up front. SPGs, good luck, of course. You're looking fabulous. The specialty is Evil Dead. I will ask you lots of questions about those movies. Well, very soon, because Jane's about to read you your rights. Hey, welcome to my new dining room. OK, I think you know the rules by now. Basically, there are five rounds of general trivia questions, and the sixth round is on your specialty subject. Now, correct our answer is worth five points, and if you answer a bonus question correctly, that's worth ten points. You have three seconds to answer, and other than that, come on, all's fair in the great TV game show and war, and good luck, guys. OK, here we go. Hands on the buzzer. I just called to say I love you won Stevie Wonder an Academy Award in which... Wendy? The Woman in Red. Yes, well done. In which movie? <laughs> now, I want you to have a look at your monitors, pause for a sec, watch it carefully, and I'll ask you a question after it, but have a look at this. Okay, two, three. Okay, now back to Uncle Richard. Now, bong in when you can tell me whose faces did we block out? Wendy? Paul Newman, E.T. and Michael Douglas. Yes, well done. Let's have a look. I think we've actually got them there, just so you can believe me. Look, there they are. E you, you, you know which one's which. That's fine. Back to me now. Who put the fun in... Pers Emma. Heinz did. Thank you. <laughs> OK, now once again, I'll get you to have a look at these clips. And again, watch carefully. I'll ask you a question afterwards. Have a look at this. Must be nice to be home, huh? Oh, it's great. It's great. Three movies. Bong in. Dean, bong first, yes. Uh, Terms of Endearment. Yes. Flesh Dance. Yes. And Good Morning Vietnam. Well done. Yeah. What was the name of the police station featured in the Australian series Cop Shop? Dean. Riverside. Yes, well done. The Riverside Police Station. OK, team, relax. Hands off the buzzers for a moment. It's time once again for the TV players to stumble on stage and to act out a scene. Now, of course, they do this not in the style it was originally intended. This time, the scene is, in fact, a movie. So think movies when the TV players do this. Cut! 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 Oh, what the hell was wrong with that take? Nothing with you, baby. You were great. You were perfect. You were better than perfect. Emma. Roger Rabbit. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Who framed Roger Rabbit? Well done, yes. Oh, they'd rehearsed so much. Look, they'd rehearsed so much, and you would have seen them do this. Come away from them now. That's it. You're losers. Leave the stage. No lines, Michael. No lines. Out. Come on. Thank you. Mugging. I'll do all the hamming and mugging here. Thank you. And if you don't believe, here's what they would have done had Emma let them. Look. Cut, 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 cut. What the hell was wrong with that take? Nothing with you, baby Herman. You were great. You were perfect. You were better than perfect. This Roger, he keeps blowing his line. Roger, what? A tweeting bird. A tweeting bird. Roger, read the script. Look what it says. It says rabbit gets clunked. And rabbit sees stars. Not birds. Stars! Come here, look. Gee, they were going to do it really well, too. Is Russell still there? Is Russell still lurking out the back there? No? Pity Russell was pretty, just the pretty bird. It was a big effort for him. Let's have a look at the scores and said Cone of Silence has jumped ahead in the first round. They're 20 points. SPGs are 10 points. I personally can't stand this suit much longer. And we'll be back right after the break with the grand final. Russ, have you got a sister in law? Almost. What do you mean? I've got a sister in prison. Oh, right. <laughs>